All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. See this? This is my boomstick. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel and to a new video, um, a sort of collection video, as you can see by the thumbnail. My Evil Dead collection on physical media and plus some other bits that I've got that may be of interest to you if you are an Evil Dead and Ash fan. So let's get into it. Well, hello, Mr. Fancy Pants. I got news for you, pal. You ain't leading but two things right now. Jack and shit. And Jack left town. Okay, yeah, so... October, Halloween, all that. Um, I've been inspired to do this because I've been on a chat online, um, as in over, like, um, WhatsApp with Jimmy over at Jimmy Boy's Movies and Matt, Matt V's Movies. Both fantastic channels. Both channels you go check out. Um... Go subscribe to him. Anyway, we were talking about Evil Dead and, and this sort of a thing and an Army of Darkness. And Matt said, why don't you do your collection for Halloween? And, um, yeah, okay. Um, I thought, all right, well, why not? I've not really done anything for Halloween. Nothing major. And I have done a video on that. Um, I don't know whether that's going to come before or after this, but it's one of my AJ chats on a Saturday morning um, in a couple of weeks' time just before Halloween and why I have not done nothing major for Halloween on my channel. But anyway, so let's get looking at these these releases of Army of Darkness, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2 that I have got in my collection. Groovy. Okay, so first up, before I get started on the actual um, physical media side of it, I've got a book here. Yes, a book. Um, a Book of the Dead, the Necronomicon Ex Mortis. Um, I got this off of eBay. Um, it is somewhat, you know, um, you can see it's got some shape to it, some character. It's not very thick. It's not like the book in the film, but, you know, it's, it's sort of a nice keepsake almost. And you go inside and you have got pages which are all the pages of the book in the film as you can see um, you can buy these uh, you know shop smart shop s smart shop smart shop s smart retails about 109.99 um walnut walnut stock barrel <laughs> yeah no this is it's, it's a nice book in it's a you know um like i said it's not quite as it is on screen in the film, but nevertheless, it's, it's a nice addition to the collection. You've got the ear on the back, um, but it's shaped differently as well. This is more sort of oblong than what the book is square in, 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 the, in, in the film. But yeah, but that leads me on to my next release, and this is a DVD Book of the Dead release of um, Evil Dead. Um, this is a Book of the Dead version. It's got pages in it. Now, I'm not going to open it up. I've now in the process of sealing this, never to be opened again because the ravages of time are getting to it. Um, you see a lot of these on eBay that, that the, fo the, the, the latex is, is rotting away. And unfortunately, over time, I feel that's what's going to happen to all of them. Um, so if you've got one that's in pristine collection, do something with it now to get the air off of it, to keep the air off of it. All you need is one little hole in that latex and it will start to spread. It's horrible, horrible stuff, as you can see. Um, but fantastic release nonetheless. Um, just a shame that I've had it in a box in the attic, um, different degrees of weather. I've moved a few times since I've had it. So unfortunate that that, that, that has happened. So next up is the 4K Ultra HD version of um, The Evil Dead from Sam Raimi, this special edition version here. Um, with some fantastic art on the back, and you'll find that that art is drawn by an artist named Alex Ross, who is big in comic book art. Um, yes, I know he did do some images of The Walking Dead for the comics and stuff like that. Um, so this is a Amaray version within this slip. I can get it out like so and it does have the poster with it um, a little poster 
of the original movie poster for the Evil Dead like so. Um, and that's your Amore case there. And inside you do get a selection of art cards in there. Um, I do have the J card still within. Um, and there are your discs. Two discs, that one's loose. Get one back on. Um, yeah, so again, a nice addition um, for a, a great film. That obviously then leads me on to Evil Dead 2. Now for the Evil Dead 2, um, 4K again, I have this still book. Um, fantastic looking still book, fantastic art on it. So much going on in the corners. Um, as you can see, there's the back of it. Okay, those eyes catch the light. Um, and again, you open it up. An interior, I do have the J card still. Now this I think is the, is this the Spanish version or something? Um, it's got three discs with it, as you can see. And it has some, if I can get the discs out, it has some lovely interior art, like so. Which is then doubled up on these lovely art cards here. One, two three and four and yeah evil dead 2 a, a fun very fun film um yeah so that's a nice release in the collection also and then my next one is my most recent addition to the collection and that is this Army of Darkness 4K steelbook um, import from the United States um, with some great, great artwork on the front there that wraps all the way around to the back like so. Um, yeah, I, I love this release. I really do. Open it up and we are presented with a four disc set like so. Um, yeah, and, and that's just magnificent. And I won't take them out, but the interior art is the bit where Ash is facing himself in the mirror in the um, windmill, if you know the film. Um, and this has on it a lot of cuts of the film. Um, it has in 4K the theatrical cut and a 4K Blu-ray, the theatrical cut, the director's cut on Blu-ray and the international cut on Blu-ray. And on there is also standard definition of the televised cut. So, you know, a lot of different additions in this set here. Um, keeping with sets, it then brings me to the Evil Dead Trilogy set, which I had before any of this other stuff. And I've still got it, still kept it with its slip, like so. Um, and obviously you have the Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, that's come out, and the Army of Darkness in there. Um, the three Evil Dead films. Um, so again, a nice release, three disc set for all three of the films. Um, then we have, keeping in with that stuff, um, and I haven't picked it up yet. I've got to go back and get it. Hold on one sec. Put on your shoelaces untied. <laughs> so I have here my original Blu-ray for... The Army of Darkness. Um, I may put that into a black coloured box. I think it would look better um, and stand out a bit more. Um, I don't want to get rid of this because I like the poster art. Um, but then I like this poster art that's on this t-shirt as well um, that I'm wearing. Um, yeah, it's. I used to have the VHS with this one on. Um, but yeah, just a nice, nice release. And, and also floating around in there, I still had my Evil Dead 2 DVD like so. Um, cause that's what I've done. I put them into a lot of them into um, these boxes here. Keeping with the Army of Darkness, I've got another Army of Darkness release as well. Now this one here is from Australia, and this is the definitive collection Sam Raimi's Army of Darkness. Now this is actually a DVD size release, as you can see there, but it does actually contain. 
Blu-ray, two Blu-rays and three DVDs. So five discs in this one and it comes with a nice die cut slip like so. That's the back. Um, that's the box there. That's the back of the box. On the side and um, yes there's all your discs inside now what this has on it um, disc one has the army of directors director's cut dvd and disc two is the army of directors army of darkness director's cut blu-ray disc three is the army of darkness theatrical version blu-ray um, disc four is the army of darkness theatrical version dvd and disc five is the army of darkness televised version dvd so i had this quite a while ago um it's kind of been superseded by that new army of darkness still book um but this is essentially the same sort of stuff the film wise that's on there um you know and it's got a lot of extras on it as well um this is a really nice release um don't often see this one like I said, from Australia. Next up, we have the Evil Dead Remake Edition. Um, this is a two-disc collector's edition exclusive to Sainsbury's, um, apparently. Yes, this is the remake of the Evil Dead, which I didn't think was too bad. Um, it was okay. And you get the film and you get a bonus disc in there as well. Um, although I haven't revisited it quite that many times. Um, the exclusive content is an interview with director Fede Alvarez and a, an interview with Jane Levi, Levi, Levy, however you put Levy probably. Um, yes, so there's that. Carrying on, um, what collection isn't complete without Ash versus the Evil Dead? This is a region one version, lenticular slip. <laughs> As you can see, it sort of reverses colour. Which is really nice, really stand out. Um, this is the TV series that lasted three seasons. This is series one of Ash vs. Evil Dead. Um, two discs, ten episodes and some featurettes. Bruce Campbell back as his iconic character, which was fantastic. Then we have an Ash vs. Evil Dead Season 2. This is the Blu-ray, the UK release, actually. Um, there we have that there. Um, open it up on the inside. And you have, again, 10 episodes with special features, two discs, like so. Um, I really need to give this a revisit. Um, I did, I did like this season, this series, a lot. Um, have a little talk about that in a minute. And then we have here the complete third season. Again, this is a US release. Um, all, all these seasons are with slips, which is great. Um, there we go. And there's a digital copy inside, actually. I don't know. Code may not be valid after 2020. If anyone wants that code, just give me a message on Instagram or uh, Facebook and I'll give you this code. I don't know if it will work or not. I've certainly not used it and it was brand new when I got it. Um, there you go, two discs there. Now, if you remember, um, I mentioned on the back of the Evil Dead 1 box that the art was done by Alex Ross. Um, let me show you. Alex Ross art there. Um, that there is also done by Alex Ross. Um, the cover of that. Now, interestingly, when they made this, they didn't have the rights to the Army of Darkness because Army of Darkness is owned by a different studio. Hence why when you got the groovy edition of the Evil Dead release, you didn't have Army of Darkness in there. So when you get to... So these are essentially a continuation of... Evil Dead, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2, but also can be seen as a continuation of the Army of Darkness, the ending where he ends up back at work in modern day. But it does ignore, in the later seasons, it kind of hints that maybe he went somewhere else. But 
I, interestingly, if they ever done an Evil Dead 4 film um, where Ash was in the future, both of the timelines kind of converge. In the, at the end of the other version of the Army of Darkness, Ash does his drops wrong, if you remember. Jumps forward in time, jumps 100 years into the future. Um, now, at the end of this, um, he jumps into the future. So if they ever done a film that was set in the future, I say if, it's a pretty big if now, then it could be a continuation of either of these. And as a viewer, you could leave out this TV series and it works in the conjunction of three films, or you could include this and it works in conjunction of the films as well. If you account the ending of Army of Darkness where he comes back to his own time. Do you see what I mean? There's like this clever writing thing done that kind of the series kind of splits and then can possibly converge back together. Very clever, very clever. Um, but let's just have a quick look at some of the other bits that I've got for Evil Dead Army of Darkness. Hey, uh, what's that you got on your face? Huh? <laughs> see how that works? So what I'm going to show you now is some select items from my library of Army of Darkness stuff. So here we have from Dynamite, the graphic novel of the Army of Darkness Omnibus Volume 1. This here, um, yes, it, basically it reprints a lot of Dynamite's early stuff, including... Uh, the movie adaptation of the Army of Darkness, which wasn't originally done by Dynamite. I think it was Dark Horse may have done that, if I'm not mistaken. It was a free issue um, series. Let me adjust the camera for this one, actually. I'll adjust the camera and show you these. Keep your damn filthy bones out of my mouth. Okay, so here is that volume one of the Army of Darkness omnibus. Um, now, like I said, this here is the movie adaptation that was originally done. I believe it was Dark Horse, um, but obviously the rights of the Army of Darkness went over to Dynamite and they then got the publishing rights for this piece of work here. But then Army of Darkness as a comic was done, Ashes to Ashes, was done by Dynamite and when it, it was a very fun comic book and it's still a comic book that goes today. Um, they were mini-series, like four or five issues, um, as you can see. A very sort of fun tone in the art, which works well for the character of Ash. Um, you know, uh, and these were a fantastic read. They were a lot of fun, a, a whole lot of fun. Really enjoyable. Um, you've also got Army of Darkness vs. Reanimator in there. First series of that. What's that? Yo, people, any large sliced pizza? I don't know what I've done in there. Yeah, so this is a really nice collection of comic books that are a lot of fun to read. I'm a dog, it's old school. Um, yeah, you know. Tales from the Army of Darkness, which is more an anthology type series. And there we go. Um, and there's like cover gallery at the back. As you can see, lots of covers. Yeah, Army of Darkness cover gallery. And then we move on to Omnibus number two. Army of Darkness Omnibus volume two. And again, a continuation. And this has in it, let's have a look at the stories it's got. Army of Darkness, Ash versus the Classic Monsters. Um, the Death of Ash. From the Ashes. The Long Road Home. Home Sweet Hell. Um, they're the mini-series that, that form this. Um, this is Ash versus the classic monsters. And this is one film series that did work in 
comic book um, because it took that humorous element. It it opened up the world to other sort of monsters and creatures. Um, it was really good. It was really really good. Um, a whole lot of fun. Yeah, I can highly recommend the Army of Darkness comic book series to you if it's something you wanted to read. Um, And it always kept, tonally, it always kept that fun element to it. And again at the back, you will come into a cover gallery section. Where you get to see all the covers that were printed for this comic. Now, I do have all of these in, not every, because there's variant covers, but I do have all of these comics. Arthur pseudonym cover there. Um, same there, same artist. Um, I do have all of these comic books in their individual um, issues as well, but they're in the boxes somewhere far away. But not only that, I also have this here. But this is sealed, so I'm not going to open it. Um, this is the first print um, hardback collection of the Marvel Zombies versus Army of Darkness. Yes. Marvel and Dynamite came together to do a Ash versus the Marvel Zombies um, series. There's Ash there. Uh, and, yeah, this was great. Um, this is it, True Believers. The crossover of the century begins here. So that's, that's fantastic. Um, and again, I've got these as their individual issues, but they're all in boxes. And I want to go through all my comic boxes and show what I've got at some point in the near future. Well, that's just what we call pillow talk, baby. That's all. There's a continuation of that. Here I have some actual comic books, which I will show. So this is Ash versus the Army of Darkness, issue one. Um, that's a, a, a play on the Death of Superman cover, where you had the Superman flag. Um... The Superman cloak, sorry, flapping in the wind after his death. Um, now, there is a deterioration, in my opinion, in the art as the comics went on later on. But you tend to find that in all comic books. That's the way it goes. So that's issue one of that. There's a variant cover, issue one. Issue two. For some reason, I've got two of them. Um, and issue three. A variant issue three. And issue four, and issue five, and then we have two issue zeros of the same for um, Ash versus Army of Darkness. And next up, we have this series here Army of Darkness Furious Road. Um, There are a lot more series than this, than what I'm showing you in that collected series. There's two collected books and individual issues. These are just a few of what's available. Um, that's issue one, and you've got a variant colour for issue one. Issue two there. Issue three. Issue four. Issue five. Ash with Frankenstein's head. And an issue six. Recognise him from Army of Darkness. Evil Ash. But there have been a few crossovers done for this character in comic form. Um, and the next one is one of those. The next two series I'm showing you is one of those. Um, and that is Ash. Army of Darkness versus Xena Warrior Princess, or when they cross over. And this isn't the first time that they crossed over. There is another series of this as well. Um, and a lot of fun it was when these two characters got together. Because not only that, Bruce Campbell actually appeared in Xena Warrior Princess. He played the Prince of Thieves. There's issue two. Issue three. Issue four, 
issue five, and a virgin variant, that's what they call it, of issue six, virgin variant being that there's no title on it. So it's not a limited edition one. So keeping with that, um, that, that crossover theme, we've then got Army of Darkness and Bubba Hotep. Bubba Hotep being another Bruce Campbell film. Yeah, so Dynamite brought these two characters into comic together, which was great. Again, a whole lot of fun. That's issue one. Now we have an issue two. An issue three. And an issue four. The four issue miniseries. Fantastic stuff right there. Keeping again. Um, in the realm of comic book, shall we? Here we have an Army of Darkness 1992 48 page special. It was just called 1992, and it's a collection of um, different stories. That was another series done, Ash in Space. This is a one off sort of square bound um, thingy and then another one there um, convention invasion one shot which was again sort of glossy cover square bound and then we have issue three four and I don't know why I've got three and four of Vampirilla Army of Darkness in there. I would have issue one and two somewhere, but I'm not sure where they are. They're not in here. And then we have this here, which is a election special Army of Darkness comic. Um, yeah, this, this, you know, big business was the Army of Darkness comics for Dynamite. And like I said, they still are publishing them currently good stuff but interestingly that brings me on to this here now an evil dead 2 comic now evil dead 2 comic was published at the same time as army darkness comic in the where the rights to the character of the films are in two different studios two different comic companies got the two different rights and published their own evil dead comics so you had dynamite with the army of darkness ones and then you had SGP, tiny, tiny company, publishing these comics here, based upon the Evil Dead. So, you know, it's quite a weird situation to be in, um, with a comic book. You know, it's much akin to, let's say, Universal wanted to carry on army of darkness films but another company was carrying on evil dead films i don't know if that can be done or not but it's akin much akin to that so that's issue two issue three there um evil dead cradle of the damned issue one issue two issue three um is that issue three is the last part of that it was a three issue mini yeah and then we have Evil Dead 2, Revenge of Hitler. You know, um, again, this, this sort of very much went to crazy places, much like the Army of Darkness comic did. Um, if you were going to pick one up, I would, you know, recommend more so the Army of Darkness ones and the Evil Dead. The Evil Dead went for a little bit. But not for as long as, certainly not for as long as what the Army of Darkness have. Um, and here we have a one-off, um, Tales of the Ex 
Oh no, it's not one off, sorry, but these are like anthology comic series, Tales of the Ex Mortis, the Book of the Dead. Um, so this is more tales of the book affecting people and, you know, throughout history and things like that. Less ash related, more stuff that goes on with the book. And issue two of that, and issue three. Um, Evil Dead a Comic Con special. No Maxima special, as you can see. Um, Evil Ed. Evil Dead, Revenge of Evil Ed. Revenge of Evil Ed Part 2. Yeah, so, weird, weird stuff. And one more pack to have a look through. And then we'll call it a day. And here we have Evil Dead 2, Revenge of Jack the Ripper. Um... It's been a long time since I've read these. Revenge of Jack the Ripper issue two, is that? One and done. No, it's a variant cover. One and done. Um, the Revenge of Dracula, Evil Dead 2. Um, Dark Ones Rising. Issue two of Dark Ones Rising. Issue three of Dark Ones Rising. Evil Dead 2, Revenge of Krampus. Um, and Evil Dead 2, The Martians. Not inspired at all by um, War of the Worlds. But he is, you know what I mean. So there we go. Just some Evil Dead and Army of Darkness stuff. Yeah, so there we go. Just just some a look through some of the collection. Now, like I said, comic book wise, I have a whole bunch, a whole bunch. But I've got box after box after box, and they're all sealed. And I'm talking not comic boxes. I'm talking big boxes of comics. Um, weighty they are, and they're all in this cupboard up here, a um, big deep cupboard that's not in any of the bedrooms. It's just at the end. Um, and I've probably got about 30 boxes worth of comics to go through. And that in itself is a series that I could indeed do. Um, if anyone, if, if that is of interest to anyone. Um, I appreciate that most people watching this are all physical media collectors more so. But, you know, it's a series that I've been toying with for some time. It's a series that makes sense for me to do because not only... Does it sort of catalogue for me everything that I do and I can sort of number the boxes and then if I need to know what's in what, I can just go to the specific, you know, a video, box one, a video for box two and, and I can go through the video instead of getting the box out and I can see what's actually in there if there's something specific that I am looking for. Um, as for worth of them comics or anything, I've got no idea. Majority of them probably like, you know, bargain basement stuff. But I'm sure there's, a, sure there's a few titles kicking them around here and there. With a little bit of worth that they've garnered. Um, but I honestly wouldn't be aware of what is what. I'd have to research into each one. Um, I have a fair idea on some, but not all. So there we go. That's it. That's that video done. Thank you for watching. And um, please let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. And I shall see you on the next one. Take care all and... All men from the future, loud mouth braggarts. Nope. Just me, baby. Just me.